about all the screw flats so this uh, will be using to secure the power supply all these screws so keep it carefully somewhere okay now we have taken the SMPS so let's So this is the power supply. Okay. So this goes in like this. Okay, these are the four screws which are used to secure the SMPS. So, start again. Let's uh, unlock this side door. You have to manage all the cables very carefully. So cable management is very important here. So you just fold this and tuck it here for now. Okay. Okay, I'll just keep this here for now. And let's take this cabin aside because we'll be fixing the motherboard. Because this is a motherboard. We'll take all these things because there's a CD also. Take it out very carefully. Got okay, we'll take this out very, very carefully. This is where your processor fits in. But six 3.1 UMP USB ports. We will fix the processor. So be very careful. So I'll be casing this. So you have to lift it up like this only and make sure you do not touch this okay uh, get a closer look okay this is am4 chip so you got you shouldn't touch this at all so what I'll do is I'll very carefully okay I think it's okay you got to pull this lever now you have to put the lever back and lock it that's it now we are going to take off these four screws because this is where the cooler gets in and we will fix the cooler here so take this screws very carefully Okay, now let's take the cooler out.
okay this is our cooler which we are going to fix it here okay now we have fixed the thermal cooler so make sure this amd is facing towards the io the input output ports the io so make sure this is facing towards this side okay and you have to be very careful while uh, fixing it and you have to tighten the screws and make sure you don't tighten it too much okay you have to just be very delicate okay now we will take the cpu cable and here there's a label called cpu fan you got to fix it here like this and next we will be installing the ram so as i'll be installing two rams so here the first stick goes in this one and the second stick goes in this one that is one and number three okay now i'm unboxing it This looks really good. Okay, let's install the other one too. As I said, we'll be doing it in number one and number three. You can, if you can see the colors, these two colors are matching gray and the gray one. So if you're installing only two, you have to be very careful that you'll be doing the same colors here. So now I'm going to install one more. And you just got to press it. And it'll get logged automatically. That's it. We'll be installing this IO shield. You just got to take it, put it from behind, and press a little with your thumb. That's it. It'll get fixed. Okay, after installing this shield, we'll have to install the motherboard. So, to install the motherboard, place the CPU cabinet this way. Make sure all your cables are kept very carefully aside. Okay. Now the next step is we are going to install the motherboard into the CV next. Okay, into the CPU cabinet. So you have to make sure you place it in the proper way as like your uh, shield, the USB, the IO shield which you have already fixed in. You have to make sure to keep it in that way. Okay, after fixing the motherboard, you have to tighten all the screws. Uh, like this, here's one screw, and here's one, and here's one, and there's one more screw here. And make sure you don't tighten it too much. Okay, now uh, it's time to install the graphic card. So let us install the graphic card now. So let's place this like this. And then we have to remove the screws for this frame. Now the next step is we are going to install the 
graphic card so to install the graphic card you have to take the brackets out the brackets are uh, these one which were here already so we removed it you just got to press it a little and then uh, this will be removed so these are the brackets which we removed okay okay uh, so the graphic card will be sitting here we'll be placing the graphic card in this one so we have to press this lever okay it's already Take the graphic card out. Okay. Okay, here's the graphic card. So we will remove all these covers. So we are removing this one. And also these covers okay and here is how we are fixing it so you can see so you have to be careful you can you should see the proper rock placement of it and you just got to press it and that's it and then we got to screw here okay now we are taking out the cables now uh, no need to tuck them in so we just take this like out so that we can fix the hard disk okay okay here's the hard disk so we just have to place it like this and check the screws here like this and then we are going to tighten the screws now we have already installed the hard disk and now we are going to fix the ssd so here's the ssd drive okay okay let us fix this ssd here Okay, now we have fixed this USB cable which comes directly from the cabinet and uh, we have fixed it here in this port. And now we are taking the 24 pin cable and we have to fix it in this one, in this port. okay and then here I have connected a power cable to the motherboard here you can see the pin this pin and then I have also connected the power cable to the graphic card here and these cables will be using one for the hard disk and the other one for the SSD so in case we are using one more hard disk, we'll be using one more wire, but for now we are not using, so we'll be only using this two. Okay, now we are connecting this audio cable to the board again. 
and this will be here if you can see this one it's already written there audio here it's already labeled so you have to keep it very carefully yes done okay i was not able to fix the ssd here so i have somehow managed to screw it up here so now for this ssd we will put the power cable And then we'll take the setup cable. And fix it like this. So the other end of this cable, you can see. It's here, it's fixed here in this motherboard. And this setup cable, one more setup cable goes in here in this hard disk and this is a power cable again for the hard disk and these are the some of the connections which we have done okay this is a buzzer so as soon as we turn on the system we get a beep sound right so that comes from this one and we have connected this here in the motherboard Okay, these are the wires uh, which is like one is a reset one and the and this one is LED plus and minus and the other one is a HDD wire. So all the, all the labels will be clearly written on the motherboard. So you have to just check the wire and the name on it and then place it on the motherboard according to the label written. Okay, I think we are good to go we have made all the connections so hope everything is okay and look at this it is so perfect all these are perfectly fixed okay we need to screw this up And these are the wires which we have taken out just to make it a little clear inside. <coughs> okay, we can tag these wires just to make it look a little clean. Okay, now I'll tag this up. I have a tag, so I'll just try to tag this up. Just to make it look a little clean. Yes. Okay, I did. I tried my best to manage with these cables, but this is the best I could do. So I know it looks a little messy, but that's okay. I'm just eager to turn this on. Okay, this is a power cable. It goes in here. Done. Okay, I have connected this uh, cable to power supply. 
and uh, now it's time to switch this button on but i'm really scared because this is the first ever time in my life that i have built a pc on my own so let us just turn on a well i'm sitting really far from the cpu okay i'm just turning this on one two and three okay now let me tap on this power button and we'll check how it goes one two and three it's on okay this is the first ever time in my life Yes, I...